What's up? It's your from Vandalistic Vlogs, and today on. <laughs> Mostly because I just recorded this whole freaking video, and there was no audio. So. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. For those who don't know, I don't remember who I told. I don't remember even if this is on the internet. I can't remember actually. I don't know. I might have been too depressed at the time to make a video about it, but whatever. I um, I have my electric scooter, my Carbo Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. I'm not a black woman. Why do I keep clapping? I had that stolen. From me, from the mall, uh, when I was going to see a film, whatever, on Boxing Day of last year. And now, bo Christmas in general was not a good time for me last year. It was pretty fucked. Stop clapping. Um, and so to have it all topped off by having uh, the one thing that was giving me some joy at the time. Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. So um, I reported that immediately stolen because I was at the mall. So um, I was not that far from a police station. It was like on the other side of the street, whatever. So I did everything that I was supposed to do. Right. Today I got home and I have a letter from the Department of Children, Youth, Justice and Multicultural Affairs. Sounds awesome so basically it looks like they caught the person who stole my scooter um the letter reads like this and i'm not going to read this as pissed as i did the first time just the facts um dear mr makua who is me i have been advised by the brisbane children's court that a young person has admitted committing the following offense against you stealing Criminal Code Section 398, Offence Date 26th of December 2021. This matter has been referred for a restorative justice process which involves a meeting of the people affected by a crime committed by a young person. The purpose of the conference is to talk about what happened and discuss what can be done to help repair the harm caused by the offence. Support people for both you and the young person are encouraged to attend the conference. Blah, 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 blah. So, basically, the gist is the person who stole this is a kid. Um, now, that could be, what, 17? 17 and under, right? Now, bear in mind that it's been six months and I haven't heard anything about the scooter. I haven't heard anything at all. But somehow, Brisbane Children's Court has had this... So basically, the police have caught this person somehow, right? This person has now gone to court in regard to it, and now I have to go and have a tea party with this kid and be like, oh, you really hurt me when you stole my stuff. How do you feel bad about it? How can I help you feel better about what it is that... Fuck! off still pissed <laughs> I thought I got all that I thought I got all of it out the first time I recorded this video but I'm still <laughs> it's too soon dude um look I'll say the same thing I did before which is I do need to show this kid charity in the sense that I'm no better than he is in terms of, you know, we're all equally sinful and terrible people. But it feels almost as though it's now become 
partly my responsibility to help rehabilitate this kid. So my my securing my goods, right? You know, I understand everything can be stolen one way or the other, but my securing my goods and leaving them alone and then him having the kind of you know him having the, the thought of like well I'm gonna steal that and I'm gonna take that then now that makes me responsible a, a responsible party to the rehabilitation why Am I even supposed to believe that he's sorry for whatever he's done? Like, yeah, obviously you could be remorseful for having been caught. Dummy. <laughs> you waterhead. But, but like genuinely sorry and repentful. Re repenting? Repent? Whatever. I, I don't know, dude. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, this, this bit. <laughs> Please find enclosed some information about restorative justice conferencing. Okay. What is restorative justice? Well, if you didn't know. Restorative justice is a response to criminal behavior. It views a criminal offence as more than an act of breaking the law. So you can see here, they have, it starts with the child's offence. The impact. Who it impacts. The victim. Families. Community. And then, talk to people harmed by your offence. And then this other bit's too long to read backwards make an agreement to try to repair the harm that's about three thousand eight hundred dollars that would go a long way to repairing the harm if not that how about the scooter bag in working order I have very little to no hope of either of those outcomes and I know I'm probably, uh, uh, you know, catastrophizing and just deciding what it is before it is and before I know more. But it's a kid. This it was in fucking children's court. What is it going to do? Mow my lawn to the equivalent of three thousand eight hundred dollars worth? I'm going to be retiring this fucking kid. It's kids, kids will be mowing my bloody lawn. Does need to be mowed though, so maybe. But and then what am I gonna do? Have him around my house, and then we're gonna become friends. And what am I gonna do? The blindside this kid, not hit him when he isn't looking. Uh, but you know, I'm not gonna Sandra Bullock some kid because he stole my property. Ugh. Anyway, I just yeah I don't have the I don't have the gas to do much longer than this. So anyway, dudes, girls, God bless. Look after each other and God, be a good role model to somebody, please. See you in the next one. Bye.